Hey everybody, it's Scott Salen from HypnoThoughts Live. I'm speed dating right now. And the reason for that is because HypnoThoughts Live has become the world's largest hypnosis conference. And when something is that big, we want to make sure it doesn't uh, overwhelm you guys, especially those of you who are new or looking for what pre or post conference class to take. There's so many options and so many choices. So I'm spending about 10, 15 minutes with each of the pre and post conference presenters. So you get a feel for who they are and what they're teaching. So you make the right choices for you. And once again, I am joined by a person who I just like talking with. Like these are the ease, this is not work. Um, and I'm, I'm here with a guy who I've watched really come on the scene in like the last, I mean, he's been around for a long time, but the last three or four years, like he really hit a, a new gear and it's been really fun to watch him like just excel in that. Uh, and that's Dan. Dan, how are you, Candell? What's going on? I man? am doing great. And uh, Scott, as my uh, sign says behind me, I'm the anxiety relief guy. It's like, if it flashed, it would be like a stripper sign, like open for business, you know? So I'm good. But I'm you're good. Saying that, like, that would be a bad thing. Yeah. I mean, it would, it might bring the wrong type of clientele, but you don't know, you know, different kind, different, different, kind, different, wrong, different. But different. Yeah. Well, Dan, you, you are the anxiety relief guy. You, I saw you grab that brand and I went, Oh, I mean, that's, that's one of those things that is a good idea because it's obvious once you see it, but you didn't think of it yourself. And I saw that and I was like, Dan's going to crush this. He's going to do such a good job. And you have. And yeah. how's all that going? Oh my God, dude. Like first and foremost, we just exploded with the anxiety relief guy brand. And um, I came up with a uh, online program called the anxiety relief five by five. And that's getting we are getting 200 to 250 people a week into that program because literally everybody has anxiety and people say, Oh, you're the anxiety guy. I'm like, no, the anxiety guy, it sounds like it gives you anxiety. And uh, I'm the anxiety relief guy. And just like you said, it wasn't clear to me. I'm like, there's, so there's already an anxiety guy and he's a therapist and he does great work. And I'm trying to think like, I can't be the anxiety guy. And I'm like, there's a word missing, like relief. But I actually didn't give myself that title. A doctor did. So a doctor was sending me like, uh, he sent me like about 60 of his patients to work with, um, work with them. They were all kids and teens who had anxiety. And he's like, you're like the anxiety relief guy. So that's how it stuck. Yeah. So it works. <laughs> totally works. And, and you have been doing great work with that population. And, uh, and it's really cool. And then you've started building this, this whole online um, like portfolio uh, yes. of resources. Uh, so for for those people who are thinking about taking your class and your your class really is about both of those things, like what's your like work life look like? What's a day of being you seeing clients and managing this new online or relatively new online right. business? What's that look like? So dude, I went from, sorry, I don't mean to keep calling you a dude. Uh <laughs> I've been called a lot worse on these. <laughs> uh, Scott, I've really had to shift from going to from being the hypnotist, the technician to being the CEO. Yeah. And, you know, I've taught a lot of people my rapid relief techniques. And a lot of people say, we don't want to be like the CEO like you are. We just want to use these with our one on one clients. And a day in the life, like I get up, I have team huddles with because I have team members that work with me and that work for me. Um, and I, I don't really see that many private clients anymore because I right. do big groups. So I have what I call a clearing group every Thursday at 1 PM Eastern time. And that's like the high level group. And then every other week I do a biweekly self-help group on Wednesday nights. And we have 200 people in that group. We have, like I said, like 200 people a week running through the other programs. Um, so it's really about managing not just the people on my team, but also being fully present for the people in my groups, because that's what's important. And right. I would have never shifted into this if it wasn't for my dad. And a lot of people know my story. My dad got sick last year. He died the Monday morning of HypnoThoughts, like the Monday right after HypnoThoughts, he died right. August 1st. And his like he really wanted me to go to hypno thoughts um but we were, we were talking about it and i was like dude you're we're not letting you in the door like we yeah yeah and thank you for that by the way and um but if it wasn't for that i would have never really come up with this group model and that's what i'm going to be teaching is really how to take your hypnosis sessions and make them next level because i'm not really teaching hypnosis and 
a big thing. Most of my clients don't even know I'm a hypnotist. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's weird. It's, it's weird. And when I, when I did um, keynotes for Amazon, Dell Technologies, they all told me, you're talking to our executives. We don't want you to mention you're a hypnotist. Yeah. So yeah. Th that's Publicly what traded companies don't like hypnotists on their minutes. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And so I had to come up with these techniques that weren't hypnosis, but they were hypnotic. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to come up with a way of framing them. And there's a bunch of strategies that I call clearing the underlying emotional core to your anxiety and your problem. And there are all these strategies from energy psychology, from psychosensory therapies, um, from all these different principles that we don't normally look at as hypnotists. And I've plugged them into a hypnotic process. And that's what I'm doing. I'm teaching people my system of, um, of what I'm doing currently with my clients. And I want to highlight uh, this for the people who are watching this, you know, uh, I've had a busy private practice and then life gets in the way, you know, a family member gets sick, uh, an old family friend passed away, you know, things that we all deal with, you know, just the, the, the lowercase T traumas of, of life and just the, the hectic stuff of life. And, and when you're doing hours for dollars with clients, there's a lot of flexibility that we have because we get to set our own hours until things that we didn't anticipate happen. Right. And when, when, you know, life happens to us, um, having systems in place like yours, uh, make, make it possible to absorb some of that without the, some of the financial heartache that comes with it. And so to people who are watching this, even if you're all in on clients and you're like, the only thing I want to do is see clients, you need to be paying attention to this because it, it is armor for financial uh, problems that right. we'll, we'll all have a shortfall at some point. And Scott, when the, the thing that helped me the most was having a passive income and, exactly. and that's what allowed me to take care of my dad. And yeah. that's what, that's also what bought me a new house and bought me a new car <laughs> is right. having this, this totally passive income. Now I'm, um, I am going to be sharing a lot of insight into that um, as well, because like, okay, how do we add systems to our process to make it easier for us and easier for our clients as well? And I have hundreds of thousands of people that follow me on social media. I have over 250,000 on TikTok. I have 15,000 on YouTube, 20,000 on Instagram, another 50,000 on Facebook. And you don't have to have this massive social media following in order to create these types of results with your clients, these types of systems. It helps me. That's what works for me, but you don't have to. And someone that just took my class, uh, I just finished teaching it two weeks ago. She said, Dan, I don't want to be like the next online extraordinaire. I don't want to do that. Can right. I still make these work? And you can. And that's where it's it's really just so much flexibility. And you can take these techniques that I call rapid relief techniques, and you just make them work for people. And Scott, I have therapists that comment on my TikTok videos. You're like, we use this with our clients and it worked so well. And they're like, they're referring more people to us just because of these techniques that we started using that we learned from you. So, so I get everything you just said, and most people will, but let's make that a little bit more real. Like when you're talking about these, these rapid relief techniques, can you give us an example of one? Can you explain one? Can you, can you give us something so the people who don't, who aren't one of your quarter of a million followers, uh, can one of them wrap their heads around this? Absolutely. So there's two types of techniques I teach. One is called conceptual, which is um, what I call the what if paradox. Many of us get caught up too much in the what if, what if, what if, and, and it makes us spiral downwards. So what we can do is every what if we have that makes us spiral downwards, we ask the what if paradox. And we have what if up thinking, what if down thinking. And then I teach a concept about what if up versus what if down thinking. That's more of a concept more of a technique that I teach people. Something very simple from psychosensory therapy is rub your hands together like this. And when you do that uh, for about 30 seconds, and then you stroke here and you rub here and you do those three things and it's gonna reduce your anxiety by 50% in 60 seconds or less. And things like that. Like, like that's just such a portable, just pick it up and take it with you technique for it. And like you said, it's not hypnosis. It's, that's right. just 
psychosensory therapy that anybody, like you don't need to be trained on that. Like everybody who watches this video now can do it. Like they can help right. people with that today. Right. And there, because we're hypnotists, there are ways that we can frame these techniques to sure. make them hypnotic and we can add hypnosis to them. And there's a lot of times where if we want to go the hypnosis route, I'll turn this into an induction. Yeah. There's something else I teach called ZTFO and which is zone the F out. And it teaches you how to create and get in the zone in about 60 seconds. And these are things that are really good for, um, for executives, business owners, students, um, anybody that really needs to like tune everything else in golfers. It's a great technique for golfers as well, just to get in the zone. So it's these strategies, but I'm also teaching not just the strategies, how to present them and how to format them and how to make your own program for your clients to get even better results than if they were just using hypnosis. Yeah. So let's grab that right there. Let's like really uh, chase that down. So what you're saying is you're not just teaching technique. You're also teaching like a methodology for how to make it yours, how to make this uh, a presentation so that they can take this to build up their own practices and businesses. Exactly. And I also teach people how to craft their own presentations so they can also present these techniques to companies like I did, like Dell, uh, Dell Technologies and Amazon. Yeah. I mean, big companies with big pocketbooks bringing you in to executives, which, you know, right. I was talking with Rob DeGroof the other day about golf. And you say, okay, the guys who are playing golf, they've got money to pay for sessions with you for other stuff. And when yep. you're going into a room full of executives and doing it like a leadership retreat or an offsite or any of those things, uh, that's the people you want to be seeing in your private practice. It just gives you the network. And that's actually how you and I met. Uh, you and I met because you were doing, I was on vacation. A company wanted me to do their offsite in my hometown. I didn't get back to them. They called you, you flew in and you and I met in the parking lot of my office where you were doing an offsite for a company um, and they loved you and it was fantastic. It was just, it was this wonderful, weird little coincidence. And you and I had a blast getting to know each other. We did. We really did. And that was our first introduction. I thought you were joking the first time you told me that. And then when we actually like met where we met, I'm like, oh my gosh, this actually happened in the, the, um, owner of that organization was like, oh yeah, re we reached out to Scott and, um, and yeah, and, and you, <laughs> so it, it was just so funny how that worked out. And I'm so glad it worked out that way. Not for that, but for you and I. Yeah. Cause you and I like went zero to 60 in friendship, like super fast because we did, it, it, we talked online and we had other, you know, mutual friends, but you know, uh, Michael DeShala, Jason Lynette, all, all these wonderful people that we've all met from conferences, but you and I got to go zero to 60. So uh, that was the first time you and I got to do any speed dating. And this is the second. Um, so uh, people, <laughs> if you're watching this and you say, this guy seems great, or this content seems fantastic, I'll put up with him. Uh, um, here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to htlive.net. That's our website. It's the largest hypnosis conference in the world. You're going to see a bunch of stuff. There's a full schedule of all our pre and post conference. And you're going to see uh, Dan and his class right there. You'll click on it, you'll get his bio, you'll get his description, and you'll get a link to register for the class. It'll all be in one place, easy for you. Uh, and share these videos. Uh, if there's anybody that you know that like has a passion or a heart for working with this population uh, or is interested in learning this kind of content, this is a quick little video that's going to help them make the right decision for them at HypnoThoughts Live. So thanks for watching this. And Dan, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, let the people know. Absolutely. And as I always say, at the end of every interview, as always, be well, do good, be true to who you are, and happy healing.